Perfection is paralysis. Anybody that's trying to be perfect is wasting their time and they're not willing to embrace the challenges along the way where they can learn to eventually develop that perfect mindset or that perfect system, I should say. But perfection happens over time. It doesn't happen with like, oh, I'm gonna just do this one thing perfect and then the next time I'm gonna do it perfect and then the third time I'm gonna do it perfect. How things get perfect is by putting it out there when it's not that perfect and then finding the holes in that system to fix them. Like I have a marketing agency and I have a marketing background. I will create a campaign or a marketing campaign and once I think I'm on to something, I'll put it out there. Why am I putting it out there? Because I wanna get immediate feedback. What I may think might be the perfect marketing strategy or the perfect plan, it may not resonate with the people that I wanna attract. So the sooner that I put it out there, the better my feedback. And I'll even give you another story. There was a company that we all know called Instagram. And before it was Instagram, the name was like a different random name. But the people that developed the platform or the app, I should say, they just built it, made sure it was just enough to call it an MVP, minimum viable product, right? They put out the MVP. Once they put out the MVP, they started to get feedback from people. They thought it was going to be this app that was talking about these different beverages and this and this and this and that. They had all these features, all these benefits. But after they put it out there, they realized the only thing that people cared about was the uh, uh, photo feature where people can post pictures and people can like and share the pictures, right? So because they put it out there when it wasn't perfect, they quickly were able to realize and pivot huh, this is what people want, so let's scratch everything else and give them this perfect. But it's like if they waited till it was perfect, if they waited till all the bugs were fixed, if they waited till everything was beautiful, everything was pretty and everything worked, they would have never put it out there. And I think a lot of people in life, they're waiting for that perfect moment. They're waiting for that perfect situation. They're waiting for perfection. It's like, look at a person's face, right? No person's face is perfect. No person's hands are perfect. No individual on this planet is perfect. So this is where perfection leads to paralysis. I'm not saying don't have quality control and don't check your work, don't cross your T's and don't dot your I's. I'm not saying don't do that. What I'm saying is like, once you have an MVP, which is a minimal viable product, put it out there and test it. Don't wait for it to be perfect. If you have an idea, go test the idea. If you have a dream, go test the dream. If you have a goal, Go like lay a brick at a time to get it to that perfect mode or to get it to that perfect ensemble. It's like, I remember when I created my first video that got 5 million views on TikTok, it was not a perfect video. What I did is I wanted to perfect the strategy of creating videos, but how I perfected the strategy of creating the videos is by creating over a thousand videos, 1500 videos to be exact. But if I wanted video one to be perfect, I would have never got to that level of perfection at video 1500. And even video 1500, sometimes you might still find a little hole in that video. Sometimes I may have not clipped out a sp specific part. Sometimes like the caption might be four words on this screen and five on the next one. Like nothing is perfect, right? But what I do know is perfect is I'm willing to try every day. I'm willing to make efforts every single day. I'm willing to put myself out there every day. I'm willing to get closer and closer. I'm willing to do to get closer and closer and closer to that level of perfection. Because how something like, even cars, you, you'll see manufacturers do callbacks on cars. Even products like the iPhone, like it's not perfect. Every single year they upgrade it to add more features and benefits to it. But nothing is perfect. It's eventually maybe getting that thing to that level of perfection. But how you get that thing to that level of perfection is by putting it out there and getting feedback. So if you have an idea, if you have a business that you wanted to start, like the only thing that's perfect I would say is you get a perfect letter grade in school. But school is not realistic and school is not real life. Practical skills, like theory is one thing, practice is another thing. So it's like you can aim for that perfection, but be willing to fall short because as you fall short, it gets you closer to that level of perfection. So that's what I would say to people. Don't try to be perfect. Perfection leads to paralysis. Just do, 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 do. And eventually you'll get better. And maybe eventually you'll reach that level of perfection. But 
don't let a little blemish in your process slow you down. Don't let a little blemish in your system make you feel like you can't put it out there because it's quote unquote not perfect. Only thing that's perfect, only thing that's straight 100 is maybe you might get a 4.0 GPA and that's quote unquote a perfect grade. But outside of that, that school lens, nothing is perfect in life. Everything can constantly be approved upon. So just look at it like that. Like how can I put this thing out there and tomorrow make it better? How can I make this thing better even more? How can I make it better, 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 better? But don't try to make it perfect. Just put it out there, keep growing, keep shining, and never ever, ever stop. See you guys in the next one. Peace.